Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So Kaden Live 19.12 is now out and it looks like it's come with a whole bunch of new improvements, both visually and also behind the scenes. So I'm gonna take a quick look at this with some of my initial reactions and thoughts. And so what I have here is the current version of Kaden Live that I use, uh, which is Kaden Live 19.04.1. And then the new version, which is 19.12.0. Now, as you could probably tell right away, things look different. So whenever Kaden Live released this at the beginning, uh, there was a lot of mixed reaction, uh, specifically in the way in which the timelines are built, where they have the audio automatically shown and separated into multiple tracks. Now, for some people, I didn't really like this as much, but I did understand why they do it because a lot of other professional video editors, this is how they look like. But for me, it sometimes causes problems, especially if I'm moving things around and it splits both the audio and video track. So not, not a fan of it personally, uh, but it is there and this is where they're heading. Now, whenever I'm looking at this new version, visually, it automatically looks different. Um, just for me, it looks better. Uh, things look a lot crisper. I do like the color that they're using. It just makes things a lot easier on the eyes. And even when I'm looking at other things like the menu items, like the effects, if you go here, to the right, there is the normal show all video effects, audio, and also custom effects as well. And there's a search bar. Now, if you look at the new version, there is no search bar as far as I could see, but the actual icons look different now. So the functionality is still the same, but it looks different and I think it looks better. It just visually, it's a lot easier to see. So we still have all effects or main effects, there's video effects, here's audio, then there's custom effects, but there's also favorite effects as well, which I think is new. And I don't see it here. No, it is here as well, uh, but it's really hard to see. So still the same thing. I just don't see the search button or maybe there's an option to toggle that. But at least in my opinion, this looks better. Other improvements that they made is uh, the way in which waveforms show up. So if you click on an audio only file in your project bin, this is how it looks like. And previously, if you did that, this is how it looks like, you know, so that is definitely a difference. And once again, I like this better. And then if you're looking at other things, uh, like the menu items, if you go to the old version, things look fine. You know, um, really nothing wrong here with how it looks or it's set up. But when you go to the new version, it just looks cleaner and crisper. And also they've added, looks like new icons as well. So all of these things are really small things, but they're great improvements in my opinion. And then also whenever I open this up by default, my actual uh, project preview window is automatically bigger. And if I go here, it's smaller. And you notice the waveform, it just doesn't look as good. If you look here where it overlays on top of your video, uh, I don't really like it as much. It's really hard to see, as a matter of fact. Welcome to and if you go back here, see, this is a lot more pronounced. And when you put your mouse over it, it shows right away. Whereas this one, it's kind of a hit or miss. So yeah, see that? So definitely a, a welcome change there. And then other things I like is there is this new lift gamma gain effect. So whenever you put that here in your properties, it just looks cool. You know, this is a lot easier. It reminds me a lot of DaVinci Resolve whenever you're doing color grading. And I don't think this is available here where it's all combined. Let me see if I could add that effect to see if it shows up. Yeah, so it's not here. And I don't like the way that it looks here. And also, as far as I understand, another thing that they did was the Bezier curves. So if I go here and go to Bezier curves, let me see if it looks any different. I'll add this here as well. Okay, so there's the Bezier curves. Um, I don't know. It looks kind of the same, but maybe not. Maybe it looks a little bit different. Let me go back here. For fast website hosting and top-notch customer service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service used at geekoutdoors.com. 
For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Well, they have made improvements to the Bezier. Um, I really don't use it much, so I don't see much of a difference. But it's there somewhere. That's one of the things that they highlighted. They added this whole uh, improvement to the Bezier curve. So maybe it's when you're actually working with it. And then another thing I like is this whole audio mixer. So if you click on this, it'll remove it. But if you click on it, you could actually see your audio mixer. This makes things really easy whenever you are, you know, adjusting audio. That is really cool. And as far as I know, it's not available in the previous version. So it's not here. So that's another welcome change. What else is here that I could see? Um, I just like the way this looks. <laughs> I just leave it here because it looks cool. Um, let me see. I don't see many things that stick out to me right away. Um, besides the whole visual look, uh, this addition of this lift gamma. Oh, and also this whole master effect. This is cool. So what you can do here is if you do have uh, multiple clips in your timeline, uh, this is something that you can do in DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere. You can apply the same effect across multiple video clips on your timeline. So for example, say that I want to do some color correction, right? Okay, I'll just do this colorize. Okay, that's a cool look. And if you put this on your master clip, it applied to all of them. So right now it's only applied to this individual clip. So if I remove that and then I clicked on master, now it's going to apply to any of your clips on your timeline. So if I did that again and I dropped it right here, now the whole thing is colorized. Uh, this is definitely a welcome feature, especially if you are working on more complex projects, uh, which is something that this doesn't have. It doesn't have this whole master effect. And I think that is the majority of the main updates that Caden Live has. There's probably many other things that I can't see, like this whole split effect, but I've never really used that before. But I'm going to play around more with this. But overall, my impressions of this is really good. Um, I'm really happy that they're making these changes, uh, both visually and also behind the hood. But I'm going to have to play around with this more uh, to see what else this new version of Caden Live has to offer. Uh, they said there is performance improvements, which is definitely a welcome change to any video editor. But I could just tell right away by just looking at this, my overall workflow, it is going to be improved. I'm pretty sure uh, just because of these small but very important changes. And it might even be more stable. Um, and I never really had too many issues with stability with the newer versions of Caden Live. But I think some people had some problems whenever Caden Live made a huge overhaul. But yeah, looking forward to using this more and more. And now this is going to be my uh, main version whenever I am editing in Kaden Live. And so if you actually had any thoughts on this new version, Kaden Live 19.12, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you wanted to see my entire Kaden Live tutorial, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey Geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.